Hey everyone, it's Tabitha Sabatha and welcome to another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing this Darkness Ablaze ETB. I've been seeing these reprinted a lot and they've been popping up in stores. So um, I'm I'm curious as to how the pull rates are on these. Uh, I've actually never gotten a Darkness Ablaze ETB before. So I'm actually excited to get this. So let's switch over to the unboxing screen and let's get started. Let's see what, what this comes with. So again, this is an older set but uh, they've been coming up in stores a lot and they've been restocked on Pokemon Center too. So let's check this out. First of all, this ETB is beautiful. It's really, really nice. I love the colors. I love how this ETB looks. So of course we have eight Darkness Ablaze packs. We have these awesome sleeves. I really, really love the card sleeves for this set. Let's focus here. There we go. Really nice sleeves. And let's see how the dice look. I am uh, an avid dice collector. So um, I'm always happy to collect new colored die. And I actually really, really love the colors on these. Let's give you guys a look at the dice. I love this pink one. And we have our eight Darkness Ablaze booster packs. So before we get into these, as is tradition, we have Lord Helix, whom we rub for blessings upon the unboxing. And we got little baby Helix. So let's get this started with the first pack. I've actually opened quite a bit of Darkness of Blaze. I've yet to pull the Charizard from the set. Um, I've also been trying to get the Butterfree VMAX from the set. I've gotten the Butterfree V, but not the VMAX. There's actually a lot of really great cards in the set. So if you're looking to collect, just collect the set, now, now is your chance. Now's your chance to collect it. I love the art on this Flaffy. Okay, our reverse is this adorable Mareep card. And Escal Escavalier is our rare. Now, from my experience with Darkness Ablaze, the pull rates have been so-so. They're very uh, Evolving Skies-like to me. That's the most comparable because they're, they're nothing crazy. I've opened a lot of Darkness Ablaze and have not really gotten a ton of really good pulls. But since they started restocking the ETBs, I was willing to give it another try. Look at this Simipor. Oh my goodness. This is like his Tinder profile. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, we got Panpour as well. All right. Cape of Toughness is our reverse and... Tick is our rare. So yeah, still no, still no hollow, but we're a couple packs in. But I feel like that's typical for the pulls for Darkness Ablaze. I'm not honestly expecting anything from this set. But I did, I did want to give the ETB a try. Another semi-pour. I love this Jigglypuff. Steenies are reverse. Oh, and another Butterfree V. So yeah, this is one I pulled and I'm actually trying to get the VMAX. But how beautiful is this card? Isn't this pretty? I love the art of this Butterfree V. So let's put that with our good pulls here. I really, really love the full art Butterfreeze. Yeah, the Butterfree is very, very cute. I would love to pull the VMAX version. The VMAX version is actually really pretty. Uh, Muck is our reverse. And Golurk is our rare. We're down to four packs, guys. We're halfway through. Halfway through the packs. Thank you. 
And if you guys need code cards, hit me up in Discord. I use them for myself, but I share with you guys too. So if you guys ever need any code cards, just message me. I have a lot of code cards from different sets. Bird Keepers are reverse and Art Arc Arc to Zolt is our rare. So we did get a hollow. But yeah, I'm not really going into this set with high expectations uh, simply because I have experienced the pull rates from Dark Displays and they're they're so so. But pulling a Charizard for sure would be awesome. And I do love a lot of the artwork for the uh, for the common cards. Like, look at this Kawhi Perloin. That's so cute. Rookie D's are reverse. And Volcarona is our rare. We're down to two packs now. We are on the last two packs. Carnivine is our reverse. And Lugia is our rare. All right, guys, we're on our last pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic, guys. Drop your Helix emotes, drop your Hype emotes, and let, let's see what happens with our very last pack. Electric is our reverse. And what's the last card going to be today? A Flygon. I mean, I do love Flygon, but yeah, not not much uh, from this set. Again, I was not expecting much from Darkness Ablaze. The pull rates are rough. This is one of the sets where the pull rates are pretty rough. So again, I wasn't going in with high expectations. So it looks like the only hollows we got today were uh, Arc to Zolt and this really pretty Butterfree V. Very pretty card, but yes, this is what I've already pulled. Uh, this is a fairly common V card to pull uh, for this set. So is this worth purchasing? I would say if you haven't collected the ETB, because I like to collect the ETB boxes. If you have not collected the ETB, it's absolutely worth it. If you have, I would say don't get it because again the pull rates are really rough with darkness ablaze so don't go in expecting to get anything cool but it is worth collecting the etb box at least for me especially since these are going for msrp 40 dollars um I, I would say get it 40 dollars for eight packs is pretty good and it comes with a lot of stuff so if you are watching this on youtube i would appreciate if you would hit that like and subscribe button as it will alert you when i do more unboxings twitch highlights uh, art time lapses and things like that so once again thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.